वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल ई एम एम सी टेक्स स्टॉक बाय संदीप दगड़े टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट सर्ज एंड रिंग वेव बोथ आर अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्टैंडर्ड फॉर अ टेस्टिंग सो आई हैव ऑलरेडी प्रिपेयर्ड वीडियो ऑन अ सर्ज टेस्ट हाउ टू परफॉर्म अ टेस्ट यू कैन फाइंड द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन फर्स्ट वी विल सी वॉट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ सर्ज एंड रिंग वेव द डेफिनेशन ऑफ सर्ज इज ट्रांजियंट वेव of electrical current voltage or power propagating along a line or a circuit and characterized by a rapid increase followed by a slower decrease it means the surge is a pulse which is having a very less time in a increasing way it means the rise time of the pulse surge pulse increase rapidly and the fall time of the pulse will very slower because of that the surge pulse is having high energy now we will see the definition of ring wave the ring wave is a typically oscillatory transient induced in a low voltage cable due to the switching of electrical networks and reactive loads faults and insulation breakdown of power supply circuit or lightning so here we can understand the ring waves transient is in a nature of oscillatory transient so it is oscillation in the transient then what is the scope of the surge standard and ring wave standard so this is also very important part to understand the what is a standard contain okay so first is a surge in a surge it is a first one it is a requirements so first is a immunity requirements so why to perform a test to check the immunity requirement of the product then second one is a test method so this test method is applicable for electrical and electronic equipment then third one is a range the range of recommended test level for equipment with regards to unidirectional surge caused by over voltage from switching and lightning transient so this is also very important to understand the range of recommended test level and which is depending on the where you are going to install the product and where you are going to assemble the product then next one is a ring wave okay the again the requirement of the product is the same immunity requirement and test method also for electrical and electronic equipment and ring wave is occurring in a low voltage power control and signal line supplied by the public and non public networks so where it is occurring it is occurring at low voltage powers controls and signal lines and with public and non public networks so all these uh, in the standard scope they are mentioning about how to perform a test where to perform a test at what level you can perform the test now we will discuss about the specification this is a very important to understand the specification of difference between the surge and ring wave because this specification we will give, get an idea ki what is the exact difference between the surge and ring wave so first we will discuss about the surge then first one is number of pulses so in a surge we have to give five positive pulses and five negative pulses then then repetition rate of the surge is a not faster than one per minute then what is the specification of uh, the pulse the 1.2 by 50 microsecond means 1.2 microsecond is the rise time 50 microsecond is a pulse width for open voltage open circuit voltage and 8 by 20 microsecond means 8 microseconds rise time for short circuit current and 20 microsecond pulse width for current wave okay then next one is the impedance so surge generator of 2 ohms output impedance in line to line on ac dc power lines then second one is a 12 ohms impedance output impedance line to earth or ac dc power lines then third one is a 42 ohms output impedance capacitively coupled or via gas field arrestor on line to line or line to earth on input output lines then what are the levels the levels are test levels are 0.5 kv 1 kv 2 kv and 4 kv okay then we will discuss about the ring wave the first specification of ring wave is 100 kilohertz decaying at 60% per peak means if your first peak 
is a hundred, then your second uh, pick should be sixty. Okay. Then we will discuss about the rise time. The rise time of that pulse is zero point five microsecond. Okay. And the transients per minute one to six transients per minute we can uh, apply. Generator with output impedance is twelve ohms, thirty ohms. Via coupling decoupling network in common mode and in a differential mode for power supply. Then signal and control ports. Zero and then the levels test levels are zero point five, one, two, and four kV for common mode and half of this value in differential mode. Means if you are going for a differential mode, then the output test levels. The test levels should be half of the common modes. Means 0.25, 0.5, 1, 2 kV. ंग सो इन दिस यू कैन सी द फर्स्ट पल्स इज फॉर द सर्ज द राइस टाइम यू कैन सी द टी राइस टाइम इज वन पॉइंट टू माइक्रो सेकेंड एंड टी ए इज नथिंग बट अ फिफ्टी माइक्रो सेकेंड तो दैट इज नथिंग बट अ पल्स विद of uh, the surge transient in open circuit voltage waveform and 1.2 microsecond is the rise time in a open circuit voltage waveform so rise time calculation is 1.67 into t then in a short circuit current waveform you can see the t is 8 microsecond from 10% to 90% and ta is a pulse width is a 20 microsecond which is a 50% of a wave so in first pulse also you can see the rise time is calculated from 30% to 90% and the pulse width is a 50% okay then what is the ring wave you can see in the uh, display that ring wave is second wave form okay in that 10% to 90% rise time is nothing but 0.5 microsecond plus minus 20% okay and then it is showing that 100 kilohertz Okay, first half sine wave to second half sine wave is a hundred kilohertz. That is a plus minus ten percent, and then second pulse should be a sixty percent of the previous. Means if first one is a one, then second one you can see it is a zero point six. Then third one is a nothing but a zero point four something. So like that the waves is oscillatory. It is not a single pulse or what. It is a oscillatory wave, but it is a transient. It is a decreasing slowly 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 so that is a difference main difference between the surge and ring wave so sometimes as per the requirement as per the uh, installation case some uh, product developer uh, perform a surge also some product de developer require a ring wave also and both are alternative to each other but this depend on the installation is depend on the location or is depend on the product requirement when these surge events occur okay here are few examples of places you would expect to see the surge events first one is a power switching events when the big big transformers or big big igbts ssrs are using with high current high voltage that time power switching is there and at that time uh, you can observe the surge insulation faults on power grid okay the near switching reactive loads motor loads fuse blowing nearby lightning strike now we will discuss about ring wave events how it is occur and how it is uh, spotted ring wave events the ring wave on the represent a very typical oscillatory transient occurring frequently in a power supply networks and control and signal line due to load switching there are big big loads if when they are switching then ring wave can generate power failures and lightning so lightning is can generate surge also lightning can generate a ring wave also the propagating of the wave in the power and signal line is always subject to reflection due to the mismatch line impedance so because of an impedance mismatch there also it can generate a ring wave then third one is this reflection create oscillations whose frequency is related to the propagation speed length of line and para and 
parasitic parameters such as stray capacitance the rise time is slowed due to the low pass characteristics of the relevant line the reluctant phenomenon at the equipment ports is an oscillatory transient or ring wave so above these all are the events where ring wave can generate so uh, load switching inductive load switching power faults lightning then due to the stray capacitance these are the major reasons when ring wave events occur thank you so much if you like my videos then please share and subscribe my youtube channel to get an different type of videos if you want any video you can comment me so i can make a different video on emi emc testing thank you so much